What's up guys and welcome back to the Digit Detecting channel. So as you can see we are at our new school site that we've got to hunt. So we have full permission for this site, uh, just granted to us last week. So very very excited to see what we can find as this place has never been done before. It is a bit bloody cold today, however nothing that two jumpers won't fix. Um, so anyway we're going to try and uh, persist until, what do we got, 9 o'clock. So we're going to try and persist until, um, hey you got to turn that on first. And you're swinging way too high. You're like a lunatic. Uh, so we're going to try and persist for at least two, three hours until lunchtime, until 12 o'clock, uh, because that's when the rain is supposed to come. And as you can hear in my voice, oh, I am very cold. It's cold. It's only about eight degrees today. So uh, look very probably shaky too. So one thing I didn't say either, um, this was not my primary school as a kid. However, I do remember coming here for school sports days. I remember playing on this playground, probably at the age of Dominic uh, now. And look, I even remember they used to hold uh, Oz kick out here. And uh, at one point I got to meet my, uh, I used to be a mad Carlton supporter when I was a kid. And uh, at one point I got to meet uh, Anthony Kudafidis and Stephen Silvani. So really, really cool. And I got my little football jersey uh, signed by them at the time. God knows what happened to that. But anyway, very, very cool. So look, as I mentioned, this site has never been detected before to my knowledge. So we're going to give it a go. We've got this oval here to do very carefully and clean. Uh, take out any rubbish that we've, we find, uh, as well as the treasures. And above, uh, beyond those buildings there, what you can't see is there is a secondary oval. This school is actually 3.5 acres uh, in size. So quite a big school. Uh, and you've also got uh, the little sort of laneway, uh, if you like, behind the school, which is all grass, uh, still dirt, um, so that'll be something that we can also hunt uh, and check out as well. This is going to be probably my main area that I'll be starting at, um, and obviously under the, the big old acorn trees. It's a, Look, it's always um, a great place to start, so... And Dominic, look by looks, is going to be starting um, over near the playground, so... Dominic is running the little Nocta Macro Midi Horde today. Uh, he actually received that for Christmas just last year. Give us a look, Dom. What do you got? So, yeah, he's got little Nocta Macro Midi Horde. Jeez, I'm cold. I hear it in my voice and I'm so shaky. Uh, so, yeah, little Midi Horde. Great little machine. And look, he's already found about 10, 15 bucks uh, with this machine. So, what a ripper. And he does it all by himself, too. He even found uh, out an old house site one day. Um, he even found an old brooch, so done really, really well, really well. And he found and dug that all by himself. So anyway, stop yabbing and we're going to get going. We've got Tiger Hand Digger. Uh, you can find them in the, the link of the video. We're going to be using the Tiger Coin Popper. I might use that or Dominic. Uh, we're going to be using the XP MI4 uh, pinpointer which is my secondary pinpointer I carry, and my main one here uh, I'll give to Dominic, a uh, little 35, Mine Lab 35 Pro Find. So that's what we'll be using, and I'll be running the Nox 800, and obviously Detect Ed's, my favorite, Detect Ed's uh, carry pouch. And my toothbrush, I won't be brushing my teeth, but it's something I carry with me uh, for just cleaning up the coins and relics as I go. So. Anyway, I am going to get going because I need to warm up. Right, so before we get going, um, I'm just going to give you a quick run through of the settings. So noise cancel, ground balance zero, volume 25. They're all just standard things. I always leave them on. Threshold zero, target tone five. That's happy days. And we are going to leave from 18 to 40 upwards. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cher cherry pick this site basically. So I've never been here before and I expect there to be a lot of trash in the ground. So from 18 to 40, it's going to give us a good understanding of what's here and basically not allow us to dig too much rubbish. So eight is going to be the recovery speed I'm gonna set on. Uh, and iron bias down to zero, cause I oh, look, I'll, I'll, I'll gauge that. If, they, if, they, if I'm finding I'm digging a lot of trash or rusty nails, I might put the uh, iron bias back up, but we'll run with that and yeah, look, I might go 
the machine doesn't you, know, you can hear it getting a bit of chatter there we might drop that back down to 22 and we'll perform a noise cancel and we're good to go you finished detecting already no nah. oh what am i doing hit the wrong button so noise cancel up at waist height i'm not really predicting too well where my emi would be mainly coming from today however that'll do so as you can see there it's running really quiet really steady and we'll run with that let's see what we can find okay so we've got our first really good target here real high one too i'm hoping it's going to be a silver which um if you hear how it's holding that i know that i know the numbers are jumping around quite a bit but you hear how it's holding that really good pitch tone the tone's not really changing. Right, I think we've got a pretty good fix on him right there. Seems to be uh, just under that little gum nut or acorn right there. So, let's give him a dig. So it's quite nice to dig out here. I'll bring you in a bit. Okay, still a fair depth down. I, uh, I don't use the XP pinpointer all that often. So I've still got to learn the depth uh, that it's telling me, you know, like, you know, the 35 Pro I've been using for years. I've had a couple of them and um, I know sort of at what depth it's telling me. However, the XP here, uh, I'm still learning. So, you know, I don't, I've had it for, well, I'll look over a year now, but I, I don't use it all that often. The only time I really ever use it is when the boys are out with me and they're wanting to detect and they need a pinpointer. And um, I'll basically give them my 35 Pro. Because it is, it is easier to understand the 35 Pro. Uh, the XP for a child uh, is that little bit harder. So, um, plus it's brand new. <laughs> oh, look, there it is. There, <gasps> we got a token. Wow, wow. First, I can tell it's token straight away just by the actual diameter, the size of it. So, um, <laughs> how's that first target? For this site I knew it was going to be good and it's an old token okay so it's a Pilsen Holloway's 1857 Holloway's Pilsen ointment token I've found quite a few of these in the past before um, and you can see Mr Holloway give it a bit more of a clean up I'll put it on my knee there and you can basically see Mr Holloway 1857 there and it says Holloway's pills and ointments around the outside and you can see Mr. Holloway sitting there on his chair and I don't know what he's doing I think he's just sitting there anyway very very cool very cool um, this actually does not date this timeline uh, this site correctly so this is definitely an earlier drop uh, for this area before the school was built so very cool very cool love the tokens and that's why it was ringing up so high and, and just with that real nice uh, clean crisp crisp signal so very nice okay second uh, nice target here where'd it go seems to be about there there Anyway, um, I was just thinking too, um, the principal's name here is Jess, and uh, you know, I honestly thought when I approached her the other day, and I got the, one of the staff members first, and I honestly thought, I explained to her, and she looked a bit sort of, like I said to her, this is going to sound like a weird uh, request, and I explained myself, and she sort of gave me a funny look, and uh, I thought, oh, yeah, I'm not going to get on to this one, and um, she went and related to the principal. And lo and behold, um, what's going on there? Where's it gone? 
lo and behold, uh, she went and relayed it to the principal. Principal come back and uh, she's like, yes, I don't see a problem with that. So, quite happy for me to detect. And, um, you know, by finding that token there before. Sorry, I'm just trying to concentrate on my target. By finding that token there before, it's uh, it's really going to prove to her that, um, you know, it was well worth letting us on here. Um, I would love to frame that and have that hung up in the hallway of the front office or whatever, as I mentioned in uh, the other day's video. The, I better turn that on. The school building uh, is going to be rebuilt. Okay, okay, still down a fair bit. Still down a fair way. So we're going to have a, bear, a big batch of rain today, um, which will be good because it just helps settle the ground too a lot more, uh, which will be nice. Those beeps are getting quicker. It means we must be getting down. Jeez, the targets are so deep here. I can't, yeah. I don't mind digging deep for stuff. However, um, I've, I'm a little bit time limited today. So, right, what I'm going to do, it's making it hard one hand, pause this and I'll come back. Well, that got out of hand then, didn't it? Look at that. Bloody trench. I'll show you. Nearly the depth of the pinpointer. Nearly the height of the pinpointer. Crazy. Anyway, target's out. And he's right there. Little half penny. What did I say there before? The targets are buried deep. And that's only a kangaroo penny too, so... What's he? 40, uh, 38, 40... 1938, 1940 onwards sort of thing. Can't even see a date. He's 1940-something anyway, so... You know, the token was just over there. He was 1857. I can understand how he would be buried deep. However, uh, a 1940 uh, half rue penny at even further depth um, tells me one thing. We might be working hard for our targets here. So anyway, we are going to try and clean this hole up. Because as I said, it got a bit out of hand there. But as I said too, we have permission here and we're about to have a batch of rain. So by the time we put that plug in, there's a little bit of dirt on the surface. Uh, so be it, because at the end of the day, whoop, try to turn that pinpoint off. At the end of the day, when the uh, when the rains come, you will not even know. And as you can see, the grass is not uh, not all that healthy here. So, yeah, you know, that little patch is going to be fine. We've got an 18. 18 just sitting on the surface here. Um, doesn't seem to be too deep at all uh, the XP I've noticed is not as sensitive it's as sensitive um, but it doesn't sort of pick up uh, look if I if I went and got the 35 Pro what I'm trying to say if I went and got the 35 uh, Mine Lab Pro right now and stuck that on that hole there it would give me a lot stronger uh, signal defining that it's actually the targets right there um, well, there you go ring pull Surprise, surprise. Anyway, the, I've noticed the XP though, it doesn't um, doesn't hit on the targets as close as what the 35 Pro will. So, uh-oh, here comes that rain. We may not even get till 12 o'clock in. Ah, oh, jeez. We've only got two coins. We'll see how we go. Okay, so we got up to a bit of mischief here. Look at the rabbit hole. It's as long as my toothbrush. And no, I haven't been brushing my teeth. Uh, we've been brushing this guy up. Got the old sheriff badge. Pretty cool. I've found one of these before in the past also. However, um, the tips were all broken off. So he's complete. And what a ripper. Who shot the sheriff? That is so cool. I wonder if the sheriff's down there still. I'm not going to keep digging because we've already dug far enough. To be honest, I was nearly going to abandon that hole. But I'm so glad I didn't because we found the sheriff. Right, oh, so this one uh, I've already dug. There he is. I had him, uh, had him there fixed on a second ago. And 
I'm sort of thinking it was an 18, 19 on the Equinox, and I'm kind of thinking maybe sixpence. Um, could be a pull tab like what we got before, because they sometimes jump up to 19. Oh, he's out. Or a half penny, I was thinking, and there we are, half penny. So, and I didn't just say that when I seen it either. I was thinking, because yeah, look, 19's generally half penny or a sixpence, so. And I think he's going to be an old, old Brit. I think, I think, yeah, he is. <laughs> he's a strange kid, that one. One of the strangest kids I've ever met. Look at him, he's just cutting laps at a playground. Hey Dom, what are you doing? Playing. <laughs> uh, good entertainment, that kid. Righto, what do we got? Oh, Brit. Uh, I can't get a date. Not too shit, I can't anyway. Anyway, half penny. And uh, Victoria on the back there. Beautiful coin, these. And they generally hold their uh, condition quite well. So anyway, that was definitely worth the dig. And we're pretty much just following along the fence line. Uh, we sort of did a lap out in the oval, come back around, and we're just gonna be working under this tree again here. Um, and then, and then, and then, and then we're gonna uh, try and go around the back of the school and work a little bit more around there. So I am nowhere near done on this oval or this front bit. However, um, as I said, today is just about sort of cherry picking the area uh, and this site and seeing what it has to offer. So anyway, we'll keep going. Righto, we've moved forward, what, two paces? Where were we? Oh, can't even see me hole there. That's where we were. Anyway, move forward. And might be a bit hard to see there with that reflection going on. Could be a florin. That could be the florin that I'm waiting for. Although we got one in last video that we shot uh, towards the end there. We luckily scored a florin, which was really, really cool. Absolutely love my florins. Um, uh, one of my favorite coins to find. Don't get me wrong, uh, gold sovereign would be better. However, you don't, uh, you don't dig many of those, that's for sure of in the Years I've been detecting, I've, I've found one. But that said, I don't dig all the, that many 15s either. Um, you know, it all depends on the site that I'm at. But I mean, even today, there's no chance of me finding a half gold sovereign, uh, even if there was one here, because I've got 15 cancelled out, and that's what it rings up as. Uh, a full gold sovereign rings in at 18. Oh. We got rewarded with a two cent coin, wouldn't you know it? Anyway, yeah, so full sovereign, 18 on the Equinox 800. And oh look, we're planting a few acorns. A few more trees might grow here. Uh, and a half sovereign will be 15. And I know that, because as I said, I have found one. Right, so this walk, walking um, up, up under this tree again and work, working along this footpath. We're at 22, 24. Guess what, too? Can't help myself, but I can hear some neighbours across the road. And I was just looking over there then. Not sticky beacon or anything, but I just looked up over the fence. And, uh, like, you know, this little fence here, just behind that bush there. Let's see if I can show you what I've seen. Someone's restumping a house. You know what that means? Um, detectable land. So, <laughs> I know, I know, I've got a few few permissions to get around to. Uh, however, why not go try and get another one? If someone's uh, got some open ground there, you know, maybe an old house that's ripped down, or, I don't know the story, but maybe an old house that's been ripped down, or it may even be... Oh, we're digging off. Digging off for this one. Or it may even be a new house being built. Look, whatever the case, um, I might go and approach them because 
there it is, uh, because if it's an old house that's been ripped down, just a one cent coin, if it's an old house that's been ripped down um, and they're re-stumping, uh, chances are they'll probably let me in there for a bit of a detect. And if it was an old house that was there prior, just imagine what can be found underneath it. Right, eh? so young Dominic has uh, found the sand pit. Swing lower. He gets, gets a little bit out of hand uh, in his swinging. He's hit trees, he's hit everything. <laughs> but look, I'm just happy that he's having a go. That's the main thing. And he's having fun. So, all right, anyway, we've got a good target here. And where, where were we there? Alright, so it's a 19 and a 20. I didn't really give you that, that good a look at the screen, sorry. However, it's a 19 and a 20. So it seems to be fixating more on 20, which, to be honest, I don't know what a 20 is. Um, I know what a 19 is, as you've seen before. A sixpence or a half penny, but what's a 20? We'll find out, I guess. You had enough there, Buster? Yeah. It's off. Yeah. You finding it? Do you want me to come over and help you? My mom got herpes. Oh, you've done I enough. I just found this rabbit. Just that's one thing, that rabbit. Okay. I poop everywhere. You can see it. It's in the hallway. Right there. Looks like a... Is it be a ring? Is it be a ring? It's not going to be a ring, mate. Oh, yes it is. It is a ring, but it's been well bent and well broken. Yep, I wanted that full ring. Full ring. I want to go bending it back and breaking it. It's got a, like a florally. Let me clean it up there so you can actually see it. I can see it. I'm not giving you a very good look, am I? Alright, so it's got like a florally pattern there. Dominic! Turn your detector on and run it over that, mate. See what it comes up as. A coin. A coin. Swing over it back and forth. Yeah, so it's putting it in the coin and the, and the ring range. So, yeah, pretty cool. There, there's your ring, buddy. It's not not uh, not the greatest ring, but. I won't have that ring. Oh, okay. Well, I'll have to pocket it for now. And uh, we'll oh, okay, we'll see if we can find you a full ring then. Loves his ring. I got a gold nine carat, um, nine carat gold belt buckle ring there years ago, and uh, he's always wanted it. Absolutely loves it. So do I. Okay, so we've got another one here. Um, I've just bumped the sensitivity up. So what are we? Max twenty five. And. It's just getting a fix on it. As you can hear, it's not even pinpointing it properly. <laughs> anyway. It's there anyway. It's there. I'm pretty certain that's a good target. And look, what I do is a bit of a trick I'll show you. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> anyway. So, a bit of a trick I'll show you is, hit that, uh, hit that all iron mode there, and it fills in the rest of the category, and therefore picking up on everything. And you can still see that it's giving, giving us a pretty good responsive uh, target ID and tone. So with all that said, and look, I'm not seeing many rusty false signals come in there. So... Like, like that, you know, you can see the negative eight there. So, back out of all in, quiet bird, back out of all iron mode. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted watching him, he's a cracker. Anyway, back out of all iron mode. And, um, 
we're going to give that one a dig. So, and you know what's really funny too? Um, sort of spinning me out a bit. As I said, I did Oz kick here years ago as a kid. And um, I can remember standing pretty much where young Dominic is right now. And the foot, footy players were right here. So, you know, to be here some, what, uh, 25 years later or, or more, to be here digging coins out of the, that same ground uh, some 25 years later, um, yeah, it's kind of spinning me out. It's pretty cool, pretty cool feeling. So, um, yeah, part part of the history here, I suppose. Who knows? This could even be a coin that I had in my pocket when I was a kid and I dropped it. However, I'm not that old for pre-decimal currency, so it's not going to be a pre-decimal. It may just be a one or two cent coin, and then I can curse curse the younger version of myself for dropping it. Anyway, I'm going to uh, get this pinpointer out. Okay, so it is there. So it's going to be very deep though. So let's keep giving him a dig. Ground's nice and softy. Very nice. Just pull the dirt out. Listen to Dominic. Dominic's still kicking, punching the air there. Okay, so it's not the plastic spoon. Maybe, maybe I dropped that whiz fizz spoon, but it's just a little brass piece. So I'll zoom in there. Nothing special at all, and that's why it was probably just ringing up very, very quietly. So anyway. That and that uh, are our first two bits of trash too. Uh, prior to this, we've found a couple of coins, but we're still yet to dig. Uh, we'll, 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 up until this hole, we're still yet to dig uh, any rubbish. So pretty good, pretty good. A couple of coins and now two bits of rubbish. Happy days. What have we got? 1920. <laughs> 19 and a 20. What did we say before? Half penny or uh, And you'll see here I'm resorted back to the 35 for a minute um, Well just for the rest of the video because the XP lives in the car. I never charge it. I just use it. So it needs to go on the charge. So anyway We'll leave the XP out for now and we'll just go back to the 35 Can't beat the old batteries. Rubbish. It's alright, it's only a third bit of rubbish for the day. Not too shabby at all. Right oh, on to the next. The cool little one. I didn't film uh didn't film the the dig, however, here he is. We got a little skull and cross, or skull, and uh, it's actually the phantom. So you can see there the phantom's mark. How cool is that? I used to love the phantom. I thought it was an awesome movie as a kid. He's got a little pin in the middle there, so it would have been fixed to something. Uh, it's not. It wasn't like a uh, look. It wasn't like a, a necklace or a pendant or anything like that. So it's pretty heavy though. It's got a little bit of weight to it, and. Um, yeah, what a what a ripper little piece. The Phantom's Mark. Listen to this beauty. Get away, Gumnut. 2627. Such a clean, crisp sound. It doesn't sound like it's very deep either. 2627. And Right there. Good enough for me. Let's give him a stab. Chop. Try and be pretty precise on this one. Because this is a current school and I do not want to be messy here. Gonna say I can see something right there. What do we got? That's not it. It's 
got to be a coin. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> this makes Luke very happy. We've got a sixpence. 41, what it looks like, 1941. So, let's bring him out. This is probably one of my favourite bits. And we'll try not to ruin the impression on the back. Uh, it peeled up with some grass. Bugger. Oh well, anyway, it is what it is. But, you beauty. That is our first silver coin for this morning. So, I've been very lucky on the sixpences lately. We got five of them in last video and a florin. And here we are today, we've got another. It's funny because I haven't had that many thrippins, uh, little tiny thrippinses come out lately. So that is a cracker. 92.5% silver. And as you can see, they are in very bloody good condition. So we'll give him a clean up when we get home and he'll be featured in uh, the end of the video in the conclusion. Into the pocket. Hey Dom, we got silver. Uh, he like took like a, a silent gasp and with that silver out of there you wouldn't even know we were there and we're on to the next okay so we have not walked very far at all um, don't ask me to tell you where we were because oh there and I only know that because I can still see a little dimple hole uh, where we stuck the pinpointer in anyway we got so another signal because you can see it's a little bit scattery <laughs> tells me it's there but it tells, it tells me it's right there, but it, it seems like it's like a long signal. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to dig in the middle there, and we'll hit the pause button and come back. All right, so what we end up doing, you've seen on the last uh, uh, video that we shot where we got the sixpence, we cut a very small hole, you know. would have only been, uh, look, a bit, bigger than a, uh, a bit bigger than the size of a penny, or the size of that token that you've seen before. However, this one, we cut him quite bigger because I was a little bit misunderstanding of the signal that it was giving me. And the reason why I cut him bigger is just for that reason, because uh, I just wasn't sure what was actually going to be in the hole and how big the target was going to be. It was saying through the pinpointer, uh, through the pinpoint mode on the knocks, that it was going to be a big target. And it may not even be a big target. No, it's not. It was just throwing its way off, so... There you go, just a bit of rubbish. Actually, no, it's a ring. I think that's a ring. Yeah, it is too, just a kid's ring. So you should always double check what you've got. Um, there you go. I've got the toothbrush. Yeah, it's got some pattern on the side there. Pretty. So this is J up the top. G, maybe a G. G, we're getting good. I'm going to give this clean up with a toothbrush quickly, and uh, we'll come back and give you a look. Okay, so there he is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Couldn't uh, focus then for a sec. So he was actually bent, all bent in, and that's why it was a bit hard to ID as being a ring. But, that's a G, and it's got some pretty little uh, flowers or something going on the side there. Only uh, cheap al aluminium ring. Um, feels like alloy, looks like alloy, rang up like alloy. Anyway, um, I know the Geelong football cats were here um, in later years, after Carlton were here, as I said before in the start of the video. Uh, we had the Auskick here. Uh, as part of the combined school sports and um, we would meet get a chance to meet the football players so look I'm gonna say that that's Gary Ablett's ring G for Gary and uh, Gary Ablett for those that don't know um, there's Gary Ablett jr. now I'm not much of a footy footy fan anymore however um, there goes the father-in-law beeping at me um, 
look, I'm not much of a footy fan. However, um, G for Gary Ablett, I would say. Gary Ablett uh, Senior. That'd be the man. That's my story anyway, and I'm going to stick to it. So, Gary Ablett's ring. What a beauty. Wow. Yeah, I'll go see what the, uh, the father-in-law wants. It's a shame. That's all concrete now. Bugger. Imagine detecting all that. I suppose the kids have got to have somewhere to shoot their basketballs. I can't do it on, uh, the, on the grass, on the dirt. A bit, bit harder. Anyway, we've got a nice, nice target here. 25, 26, 27. What I might do, I didn't really pinpoint that too well. Right, so I was going to dig a little bit... Uh, bigger than what I needed to there so it will decrease the size of that hole and we'll pop up whatever is there hoping for another silver I'm really hoping for a florin uh, just quietly anyway we'll see where we go where is it hmm okay deeper I have the pinpointer on What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Good. I think you misunderstood my question. What's going on here? That's uh, a lot, somewhat deeper than what I figured it would be. You know, I'm really surprised it hasn't started raining yet. There you go. Quarter past ten, so we've been at it for an hour. Jeez, I was even off on that one. Um, the target seems to be back here. So, let's try and... ...correct what we've done here. Fold him over, there he is, just a two center, and he's hiding in the back of the hole. Sneaky little bugger, bloody thing. Hoping for a silver, so we'll fold him back down. Push our dirt back in. <laughs> Oi, don't you wreck my tiger. A uh, coin popper. Right, next one. We'll just fix that hole up. I said a little bit of dirt on the surface. We're putting all the dirt back in, but whatever dirt's on the surface, that'll be fine. There is going to be a rainstorm over the next two days, so any dirt's on the surface uh, will just simply blend in and wash away. Okay, next one here. And uh, look, I haven't. I've just dug him, as you can see, but I haven't even stuck the pinpointer in there yet, so. Just wanted to show you the target ID. So jumping around a little bit there, a little bit erratic. Uh, so we'll get this pinpointer out. Bzzz, bzzz. All right, so he's not too much further down. We will have to give him a. We'll have to give him another stab with the digger here. Fingers crossed for a silver. I think it's still in the hole. Yep, still there. Hitting a rock or a tree root or something at the back there. Get underneath him, pop him out. Where is he? Where is he? I can see the colour of the dirt. It's going to be a copper coin. Guaranteed. I can see the colour of dirt. Oh, there he is. Yeah, one cent. So, sometimes uh, in the hole, the coin over the years uh, will leave off that green patina impression. Uh, therefore, you know straight away, oh, it's gonna be a copper. Uh, so one or two cent coin, penny, token, whatever, you know it's gonna be a copper. Uh, and then other times you can actually see um, the silver in print 
uh, left in the dirt so the dirt will come out with a bit of a, a bit of a silver tinge on it and well that's when Luke gets excited because uh, that's when I know it's going to be a silver. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> Dom, what? <laughs> Dom, this could be a ring buddy. This could be the ring that you want. We've got two rings today. Oh, well, I don't know if it's going to be full or not. <laughs> we don't know, buddy. What do you reckon? What do you hope? What do you want it to be? Gold or silver? It's not going to be gold. Yeah. You want gold? All right. Hold it hand. I'll show you what it is. Silver. What? Gold. What? Same. Matching. What do you got? A brick. That's a brick. And mm. that's a one cent coin, buddy. I thought this was a rock. That's a brick. Painted a orange. You thought it was a rock painted orange? Yeah. It what? looked like one. Nah, it's a brick, man. Sorry to disappoint you. All right, so another one. That was where that uh, little one cent coin come out. Uh, you've got another target right beside it. All right, so 27, 23, 28. I did see it jump around quite a lot. Oh, it's getting hard here. Um, so look, with that other one just being a one cent coin, I dare say this might be a two cent coin. However, I've thought that in the past and thought, oh, well, is it really worth the dig? You know, if I can, if I think I know what it's going to be and it's going to be a two cent coin, um, why bother wasting my time? Because they do get bloody annoying, trust me. Um, however, sometimes I've done this and it's turned out to be like a penny or a ring or something really good. So... Don't ever get disheartened, that's what I'm trying to say. Don't ever be disheartened and think, oh, it's just going to be another rusty nail or it's just going to be a, another crappy coin, another one or two cent coin. Um, sometimes, you know, you get disheartened and you walk away from those signals that you would have otherwise normally dug. Um, you can be missing out on something really, really good, that's for sure. I've done that many times in the past myself. Went to walk away and thought, ah, I won't sleep properly tonight if I don't dig this. And I'll always wonder what it was. And will I get a chance to ever come back? So look, I just dig it. And uh, get it over and done with. And if it's a rusty nail or a bit of junk, I don't get disheartened. I just move on. Just move on. On to the next. It's the only way to do it. Ah, what if we do there? What if we do there? Nineteen nineteen. And I think we hit the back of it. I'm too scared to turn it over and look. <sighs> Bloody hell! I didn't pinpoint that one 100% accurately. As you can see, I sort of I dug down and then I had him off to the side of the hole. So oh, let's have a look. Oh, nasty, nasty, nasty. Thank God it's not in the best condition. It's all bent and worn and twisted. Still a bloody silver though. You can see there though, she's, um, well, someone's bloody, someone scratched it. I don't know who that was. <laughs> but you can also see there, it may look like it's been through a fire maybe. Um, Cause it's got that sort of burnt pitting ash on the, on the corner of it. Uh, that side looks all right. Bugger. You can see there though, he's pretty bent and... Ah, he ran away. I'd run away too if I got scratched by the digger like that. Bloody ruthless, ruthless. Sorry George. Anyway, 1919. In the World War One. Actually 1918, but yeah. Pretty much, pretty much. So, very cool. And what were we just saying? We just said, oh, look, that could be a two cent coin uh, sitting right beside uh, the one cent coin. Let me zoom you out there. 
because you're getting a really close up look at the grass <laughs> anyway what did i say that you know that could be a two cent coin because right there was a one cent coin so and it wasn't don't be disheartened always always dig those targets because you just never know what you're going to pull out so we walk back to what two paces we were just there just sort of over there uh, walk back two paces got another target right there what i'm going to do since i um, scratched that last one and look i know i scratched a few pennies in the last video but they're only pennies I do not want to go scratching any more silvers. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly dig this one. I was going to actually say what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig it and come back. But while I was saying all that, I did actually lightly dig it. So we'll just stick the pin pointer in there. And we're going to be a hell of a lot more careful. Because this, if this is another silver, and I hit one, hit another one, then I'm going to be pretty peeved off. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to because I do not want to hit it. Pause and come back. Use both hands. <laughs> well, there you go. 1939 Rue Penny. And it was a mile deep. A mile deep. Anyway, another one for the tally. And we'll keep going and see when we find that silver. Okay, so we've got our hole all filled in. Nice and clean like. Uh, you wouldn't even know. And you never guess who's arrived. My eldest son. So, Xavier on his bike. Uh, just come bowing around the corner. He's like, hi, Dad. <laughs> G'day, mate. How are you going? Little legend. So Dominic's got a, uh, a little buddy here to play with now. And the best buddy he could have, his brother. Got a nice one here. Thinking Rupenny, 31 it was bouncing to. We'll just see how we go. You never can dig all the rue pennies. They're just, they are just everywhere, those rue pennies, or pennies in general. I always say to people, you could almost find a penny anywhere, you know. Um, on the roadside, at most camps, anywhere, anywhere. Pennies are anywhere, along a river. Do you know, back in the old days, um, they used to have a game called Two Up, for those of you who don't know. And Two Up was just a game of putting two pennies together and throwing them and often they'd get lost and also there was a game oh, we've got another coin yeah so it is a rue penny a bit blurry there sorry i'll bring you in so um 43 so basically um they also would use pennies to uh, shore up the houses so if um you know you had a at a, uh, a house with a creaky floorboard or what have you, uh, often um, you jump under there and uh, shim up shim up the, the floor and the stumps with a penny. So you think of all the houses that um, have been burnt or, or pulled down and destroyed or lost over the years, and you think of the amount of pennies that were used to shore up underneath the house, that's why you'll always find pennies at these house sites. Sure to be one there. So Dominic's over there and he's looking for worms. Well, not looking for worms, but he just found a worm and he's putting it in his pocket. Little weirdo. <laughs> just trying to get a fix on this coin. It is going to be a coin and it's going to be a $2. I'm pretty certain. It's not very deep. So let's have a look. Whoa, that could have been out of hand. I'll have to fix that one up. Yeah, you know, it's surprising too. I have had no one approach me today and be like, what are you doing? You're not allowed to be in there. Which, you know, I fully expect today because um, this is a present day school site. So there's kids that go here today still. So I would have fully expected or, or thought nothing of uh, someone coming here and saying, "What you know, what are you doing? Oh, that's what is there. It's a thimble. Uh, however, we haven't had that yet, so um, I'm sure we might get it a little bit later. But we do have permission, so it's not an issue. Look at that, it's a silver thimble too. So when I did a bit of history on this school site, 
it did say that the teachers would um, often practice sewing for the kids. And look, that's not a that's not a um, out of the blue thing. That happened at a lot of school sites uh, in early days, um, you know, 1900s onwards, what have you. Um, they would actually teach sewing classes uh, to the boys and the girls, so especially the girls. So, uh, and look, that was just just the time period that it was. Uh, it wasn't uh, not trying to be sexist here by explaining that, but it was just the time period uh, that it was, you know. So you got to remember, um, back in those days, um, girls that went to school weren't taught things that they're taught now. Um, they weren't expected to probably ever get a job. They uh, didn't have the right to vote. Uh, very, very sad, but um, you know, women's rights weren't what they are today. So unfortunately, um, you know, that, that's just the way it was back then. It, it was a hard, hard world. Um, I'm not saying things are. Uh, any better today really however women have a lot more rights uh, which is sh how it should be it's, uh, you know why, why should it be any different uh, it's the same as, as, as someone of color why should it be any different we're all people we're all human and um, so why should anybody be treated with any less respect or dignity I sold 18 this one and the reason why I dig 18s is because as I said before they can be gold sovereigns I sort of highly doubt that one's that's the case here but what they also can be is 9 carat or 18 carat gold rings. And I've found that in the past a few times before. And I don't know what it is. <laughs> Just trying to work it out. Uh, maybe an old button by the looks. Anyway, we'll uh, clean him up, have a look at him further and go from there boys having fun look out Pa's here let's see what Pa wants right Ace, we've got a gold here two dollar what do you reckon Andrew? two dollar? Sounds like two dollar. You're just agreeing with me. Oh, it's not two dollar. Okay, mate. Half penny. We were both wrong. <laughs> Can't pick them. What do we got? 1932. Really, really good condition too. Very nice. Thank God I haven't been hitting any more coins after getting that silver there before. So a little bit of corrosion on the back, but yeah, very, very nice. Into the pocket, and that rain's about to start soon, so we'll keep going. Okay, Dom's having another wild swing. Going nuts with the detector. He's trying to pick up on all these silvers. Anyway, talking of silvers, we got another one. And I mentioned before that we had not got a thrippence uh, of, of late recently, So, but we do today. Here's one now. Dommy, run over that one. They're the, they're, the, they're the signals that you're listening for, mate. So anyway, what have we got? Wheat thrippence, 42 by the looks of that. Beautiful condition. Sorry, I'll get him in my fingers so you can actually see him. 1942. All the coins are coming out so good around here. The soil is um, such, yeah, just so nice to them. So very, very good. Very happy. That's what, the fourth, third or fourth silver we've got. So into the pocket he goes, and we'll go on to the next. Right, a really nice high target here. Where'd it go? There it is. It's jumping up to 30s, mid-range 30. Back down to 29. Let's turn the volume up a bit. Oh, that's better. Right, so I'm sort of thinking, predicting a silver for this one. Um, so what we'll do is we'll give him a dig, two hands, so we don't scratch it, and we'll come back. Righto, so that was a deep target. You see right down there, quite deep, just a two cent coin, nothing special at all. So we'll see if we can find that silver. So this one, uh, I'll get out a pinpoint mode, that'll help. You can see it's jumping back to 20, but up to 21 there. 
So I think it's going to be a $2 coin. However, um, 20 sort of confuses me. Although I will say, uh, some of these new $2 coins, uh, I've noticed that they actually do come out. Oh, he's in the plug. Not a deep one for like normal. Uh, so some of these newer $2 coins, I have noticed that they've been coming out uh, and ringing up around 20. So there you go, little uh, zipper off a hoodie. So uh, we're starting to get a little bit of rain. Just spitting. Oh, now the sun's out, making a liar of me. We are starting to get that little bit of rain come through. So uh, as you can see there, she's starting to get a bit stormy. So look, we'll just uh, persist and see how long we can go. Uh, what we are going to do, uh, the boys are playing around the sandpit here. And something I do like to do when I'm at schools is um, uncover a few toy cars. As people will know, I'm, I'm a big kid. I love my toy cars. Oh, I put the sunnies on, it's so bright. Get rid of that shovel. What I'll do is uh, I generally locate the toy cars for the boys and allow them to dig them up. Let's see if there's any here. Whoa. Which doesn't look like. There's one there, boys. Hmm. Do you want to get that car out? Yeah, sure. And we'll, we generally leave them on the side. Uh, like if they're, if, they're, if they're, we're going to show the teacher and the principal here everything today. But um, generally, some schools we we'll just leave them on the side. Um, if they're obviously still schools that are currently still in operation today. And. What I like to do is I get the boys to dig them out and we leave them on the side for the kids to replay with. Uh, otherwise, God knows how long it can be before they, they find them again. So anyway, what I'm going to do now... Oh, get my fingers out of the way. <laughs> don't even watch the camera half time, so I don't know what's going on. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to be working up underneath these uh, old pine trees here, the cypress trees, and be a great place where the kids would have once played. Uh, detector's been a little bit erratic, so what we're going to do, we're going to shoot a noise cancel quickly. But loop. Right, eh? it's quieting it down a little bit. But what we're going to do is we're also going to drop the sensitivity down a bit. And we've got a target right here. You want a pinpointer, do you? Yeah. Well, I can't give you one. I've only got this one, and I should have come out of there. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've only got two uh, that I'm using at the moment, so sorry, mate. Um, I don't have a spare one. I'm joking. There you go, buddy. There. It'd have to be too clean under here, it's only just under the trees. Right, now, it's off to the side a bit. I think this is going to be a toy cut too, being that the fact that we're just not far away from the sand pit. Um, I love toy cars, they're so cool. My favourite are the Lesneys, as a lot will know. The, uh, the Lesneys are always my favourite to find. Oh, we got ripped off. So what we've got there is we've got an old rusty nail with a lead washer. It's another bit of rubbish. But anyway, neither here nor there. And rusty nail with lead uh, right next to the kid's sand pit. It shouldn't be there. Righto, so we're back over at the sand pit, as you would have just seen a few minutes ago. We got Zave to start digging out a target. <laughs> and hang on, mate, hang on, hang on, hang on, buddy. Let's get a bit of a close-up look at him. So it looks like we have a fire department truck. Doesn't look that old. Do you want to pull him out there for us, matey? Uh, careful with the bucket. Just grab him by your hand. I reckon you pull him straight out. Whoa, wrong way. Go back to two zoom in. No, one zoom in. How's that? Still see it. Can I look, buddy? Or do you want to hold him up for us? So what is it? 
It's a fire scent uh, truck. It's full of sand. Full of sand. Go have a look, buddy. So we got the mobile command center fire department truck. Very, very cool. What's he got? China, of course. Everything's made in China these days. So, not the Lesney, not the old toy car we're after. However, very cool, man. Very cool. Don't dad see if you can find, I can find you another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I actually heard it deep in this also. You, you can have a play around with that pinpoint if you want, have a bit of a look. I'll come back over and have a swing for you. I'll grab the detector. Hang on. Couldn't locate any more toy cars in the sand pit. Seems like that fire department truck was the only one there. But we've got a nice target here, 23, 22, 24, jumping around a lot, very sketchy. Uh, however, it could be a Commonwealth penny. So we're going to give it a dig. Back to using the XP again. He's been on the charger there for a little while, so... Um, last hour, so we'll just see if we can get a little bit of life out of him. While uh, Xavier uses the other one. It's a bit of nothing. It's a bit of cast. A bit of cast. The uh, detector's still being a little bit erratic there too. I have a signal here. I, I literally nearly walked straight past it. I'm thinking florin. So if we're going to get a florin out of here, watch... Watch this. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. Ready for our florin? Mm -hmm. Ah! Why they sound so good, but just be a two cent coin? It's not fair at all. Uh, back up to the other end of the oval now. I think we've got another gold coin. Which, you know, it's funny because there hasn't been too many gold coins come out of this site today. Um, you know, for, for, for a present school that's still in operation today, has over 100 students enrolled. Um, kind of surprising there's not more gold coins here. Seems to be uh, plenty of pre-decimals coming out and we're not even gritting. Uh, and we haven't even done that much, so there it is. One dollar. Bring in there so you can see properly. Nothing worse than being blurry. One dollar. So another goldie for today. However, um, yeah, still hasn't caught up our on our pre-decimal tally. We're doing better with the pre-decimals than uh, the modern coins. Walked, um, yeah, what two feet? A few feet. we got something on the surface there. Or just under. <laughs> or two targets. So I'm just trying to make sense of it. Okay, so there might be two targets. It looks like there's one there and a one over here. Uh, however, what we'll do, I find in this case, it seems to be quite shallow. Yeah, okay, so it's not going to pick it up. Bugger. Bugger, bugger. So what we might do, just put like a bit of a slice in the ground. Right, we're right on it. So that's, that's where our first target's going to be. And we'll remove that one and then look at getting the next one. That's not it, that's a rock. Still in there. It's gonna be a one cent coin. I could, I could tell. I have dug a few of them in in the past. As soon as I've seen the, once again, what we spoke of, the hint of that copper uh, coloring in the hole. Had to be a one cent coin, didn't it? 
So no doubt, if we stand back up, well there you go. It was not two signals, it was just the one. Jeez, we did well to pinpoint where it was. Some of these signals are very, very sketchy. Oh, I'm saying that and it comes good. Alright, 37. Well, uh, they're pinpointers. Help me, I'm lost. Help me, I'm over here. I found you. Now turn off. That's what it does if um, you leave it on too long. It goes into spastic mode, what I like to call it. Or help me mode, and it goes into just that beep, repetitive beep mode. And it tells you that it's lost. And look, that's come in quite handy, because I've been out in the middle of the paddock sometimes, and it's fallen out of my pocket. Um, you know, or I didn't realise or whatever. And um, then all of a sudden, uh, realise it's lost, and had to go find it. So it has come in very handy, the fact that um, it's got that beep feature. Two centre. So it must have been a bit of a drop. I had the one cent there coin just behind me and then the two cent coin there. So onto the silvers, hopefully. Okay, not one that I filmed, sorry, but we've got in ourselves another little thrippence. So by um, speaking about them before, they seem to be showing up now. This one's a 43, as you can see. Not as uh, good a condition. He'll still be 92.5% silver. Not too bad a condition on the back there. But, yeah, another silver. Here we go, we've got another one. Thirty-one, thirty-two. Hell, oh, this could be another token. I wouldn't have said that if we hadn't found the one this morning, but, well, you just never know. It could be. What was uh, the first one doing here to begin with? So, wouldn't be surprised if there's another one. I'm sort of putting me money on a, a rue penny here though. Oh. No. It's a something. Dog tag. Dog tag, I reckon. Yeah. Uh, don't know. Don't know. I don't think it's a dog tag. Pack holiday. I reckon there's something else in the hole here. There's something else connected to it. There you go. Yeah thought so because there's no way that could ring up like that because it's plastic this is a bit we're after so that would have went there hmm that would have went over the top so you wouldn't have even seen it aha that looks better pack holiday Is that telling me to go on holidays and pack? Pretty cool. You see there, there's a little pin off the back. So it would have been a, a little uh, brooch. Just not sure what it was for though. We'll do a bit of research and uh, find out. Okay, another good target here. Thinking gold coin, but I'm more thinking a penny. Because we just got a little half penny just out behind us. So this could just be another one. And then we might uh, call it quits soon. Because I'm getting hangry. That's hungry and angry. Hangry. There's a the coin impression. There's the coin. What do we got? Thinking it's going to be a rue penny. Hard to tell. No, it's another old Britannia. So 1900, 1904 by looks. There we have it. So still yet to find that damn florin. Okay, so I've just uh, found a target. It's just a two center, just under the tree there. Um, and as you can see, it's just starting to rain. So. 
here's that rain that we're expecting oh and look at that 12 o'clock on the dot as i said so the weatherman was right for once so anyway we might do a few more digs and we might call today and get out of here because uh not much fun working in the rain to be honest and we've had a good run okay so as you can see we've got another hole opened up and this was a high target this one it was a 36 38 jumping around quite a lot uh, like a lot of them have been today, a bit of AM, AMI interference in the air today. Uh, which I always wonder, you know, does does the day of the week uh, play a role in that, you know? Uh, if you get like a Monday, um, you know, a lot of people at work, what have you. Um, and then as opposed to a weekend where you get people at home, they might be on the internet more or enjoying Netflix, kicking back uh, at home, using the internet. So I often wonder that, is there more interference on the weekend at some of these sites uh, than what there is during the week? So... Pat, 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 pat. Looks good to me. Um, as I said before, it's not about... There's no dirt in this area, as you can see. It's all just, all just dirt. No, no grass in this area, I should say. It's all just dirt. However, as I said before, um, not too phased about leaving that uh, impression of me being there as long as I'm filling in my holes clean uh, because with that rain that's coming, um, that will all just blend in. Righto, I keep, uh, keep saying this. But the rain is here. And so we're gonna make this our last target. And he's right there. See me in. Dig a hole. Luke dug a hole. I don't know, what is it? Dale dug a hole. Tell him what you did, honey. Well, go on, tell him. Oh, Dale dug a hole. Well, how deep was it? Oh, that's right. No, he's, I'm, I'm trying to take off the castle here. He's like, ah. I dug a hole. Well, go on, what happened then? What happened after you dug the hole? Oh, it's filled with water. <laughs> Classic movie. Love that movie. How much does he want for it? Oh, such and such? Oh, tell him he's dreaming. Tell him he's bloody dreaming. Classic movie. Dale, Dale Kerrigan. The Castle. Iconic Australian Aussie movie. Can't get any better than that. You know, it surprised me too when you hear of people and they go, oh, I've never seen that movie. How could you have not seen the castle? We've got another little thimble. Very hard to make out, but that is a thimble. You can see he's all bent and squashed. I think that went in the pouch. Yep. Righto, on to the next one. Oh no, wait, we are going to turn it off, weren't we? Hmm. Okay. We all know what I'm like. We've got to make it from here, from this hole, to the car over there. So, let's see if we can't get one really good spang dangling good signal, and if we can, We'll dig it and then we're turning it off, I promise. So, um, you know how I said we're gonna turn it off and stuff? Well, we actually walked the other way. We're over there a second ago. We walked further away. Um, don't ask me why. I'm uh, just addicted to detecting, addicted to what's coming next. That next signal, chasing that next signal. And look, it has paid off for me in the past. There's been some sites that I've hunted and I've gave up on. Oh, you beauty, you beauty. We've got a ram head. What was I just saying? It does pay off. It has paid off in the past. And well, look at that. We've just done it again. So some sites in the past I've went to leave and then I've hunted a little bit longer and found some of my best stuff. Look at that. It does not get any much better than that. 1946 Australian Ramhead Shilling. 
Uh, he will be 50% no, uh, silver. However, what a cracker of a coin. <laughs> I often think, whoop, dropped him. I often think that I'm a little bit uncanny and a little bit lucky um, and that I sort of just walk up and lead to these signals. You know, here I was uh, about to walk away and leave a second ago and yet we've just found our best silver coin for the day. So, you know, into the pocket that goes and if we had a left, we wouldn't have got him. We would have walked away. We would be putting our stuff in the back of the car right now. So, as I mentioned, we were there. We were going to walk that way to the car instead. We walked this way and it paid off. So we're going to, uh, look, what's, we'll, we'll do 10 more minutes, okay? What is it? 12.12. 12. What's 10 minutes between friends? We'll do 10 more minutes and we're going to hunt up around this back area here uh, behind this uh, cricket board and let's see what we can find for 10 more minutes. And then it's off, I swear. Oh, high signal, big guy. Let's see what we got. Oh, we don't have to be as clean here because we're just under the trees, very dry, leafy ground. Here comes Dom, he's running back over. He's got a little flying fox thing too. He's been swinging it around like a madman all day. There he is. Sticks and a flying fox. What you doing, bud? Nothing. Nice Hank. Being crazy. Like always. As I said before, he's the craziest kid. Oh. It's just a bit of something. Something that we don't want. Next. Right, oh, so what do we got? 12.17. We wasted five minutes over there under the trees. We're going to finish strong here with the 21.22, so it's going to be a gold coin, I presume. So we're going to finish strong on a, on a high note uh, with a gold coin, not a bit of rubbish under a tree. gold coin you ripper so that is it for us today we'll just check there's no more in the hole there happy days are you happy dom yep yep do you reckon we've got enough out today yep checking dad's dug enough holes today yep yep what do you got going on there bearing of mine but then no one gets I don't bring all these sticks. Yes, every site we go to, this boy finds sticks no, and these, he brings them home. No, so, why would today be any different? Anyway, let's uh, let's turn this off. Beeral. And um, let's make our way back to the car like we did uh, say what we were going to do before. And let's wrap it up with a conclusion. Okay, so welcome back there, guys. As you can see, we've made our way home and we've got a trailer. No, we did not find this detecting. However, it would ring up nice and loud, wouldn't it? It'd take me all day to dig it out, though. Basically, got the trailer. We killed two birds with one stone today. The reason uh, being that we hit the site that we did today is because, one, we had permission, and two, we had to go pick up a trailer. Uh, as some will know, I we are making the move, so into a new house this weekend, so it's all happening. Basically, though, uh, we've got a conclusion of our finds for today. So, look... Great site to hunt. We It's a three and a half acre site, as I previously mentioned at the start of the video. Uh, look, we only covered, and, and roughly covered, uh, probably 20% today. So a lot more uh, ground there to hunt. Heaps more finds to come out, I'm sure, uh, gauging off what we have here today. So, And look, we only spent three hours, well, a little over three hours. It was about three hours and 20 minutes. So uh, with all that said, um, the trash and treasure ratio was pretty good. As you can see at the top there, not very much uh, trash, but we do have a lot of treasure, or what I like to call treasures. So we'll go through the trash. So a few cans, just your, um, your you know, your random pieces, your uh, your everyday culprits that you find detecting, lead, tin, 
uh, you know, a lot of junk. We didn't dig too many uh, pull tabs and what have you. You've seen that one come out at a solid 18. Uh, and as, as uh, the only reason being is because we were digging 18 up to 40. So, look, we don't dig too many pull tabs. We like to try and concentrate on the higher signals and especially when visiting uh, new sites because what I find that does is that gives you a really, really good understanding, uh, being able to cherry pick all this sort of stuff out and go, right, you know, you can date the site, you can see what's coming out, and with that, later on you can return and dig those lower signals, spend more time there, and look for all the gold. So anyway, we had this uh, fire truck come out. Uh, pretty cool, you've seen him get dug out by Xavier in the sand pit. And we'll go through to the fines before it starts raining again on me. Um, we'll zoom in there. So we had a 1906... Uh, Brit Penny, uh, I thought it was 04 before, but 1933 Commonwealth, uh, we've got a Rue Penny, don't ask me what year he is, something three, I'd take it 1943, 39 Rue Penny, look they're not in that great a condition, 41, 43, and then we had the Britannia, I'm not too sure what this guy is, we'll have to get a date off him uh, later on, 32 half and a few kangaroo halves. We had three dollars in coins, so modern coinage, you know, compared to the pre-decimals, as I stated in the video, uh, it was it was well off in ratio. That's fine by me. So we had the 1857 Holloway's Pills and Ointment Token. Now this was one of the first finds that come out for the day. Um, I'm sorry if it's a bit windy and you can't I'm struggling to hear me. It's um, the rain's just starting to come in again now. So anyway, we'll wrap this up and finish this off. So we had the Holloway's Pills and Ointment Token, uh, ripper of a piece to find. Gary Ablett's ring, where's the G? There's the G. It's got to be his ring, I'm sure of it. Oh, worth millions. Um, had this little piece here. Look, oh, I thought it was a ring. I don't think it is. It's just it's just a something. It's a decorative piece. Hong Kong, you can see written on the back there. Anyway, pretty cool little piece. We had all your two cent coins, uh, your one cent coins. You know, they're, they're normal. Uh, we had the pack holiday. It's telling me something there. Pack and go on holidays. Anyway, the little skull and cro uh, skull bone, the phantom mark, the phantom's mark uh, piece. Uh, a couple of little thimbles. So this one says, uh, remember me. Yeah, it's all squashed and it's hard to see, but. Uh, and also we've got a musket ball. Now, you do find these occasionally. You know, before the school was built, it was probably fired and uh, you can actually see at the top there that little sort of uh, raised section and that would have been where the casting where the lead would have went into the mold um, and yeah look it's definitely not a sinker we did did strike him on the side there you can see a little hole there but as I said that that's that raised section where the lead would have went into the mold found a quite a few of the musket balls in the past always really enjoy finding them so anyway look the last pieces that we had uh, were our silver and I absolutely love silver so we've got a 1919 sixpence, that was the one that we accidentally scraped on the back. Had words with the digger, uh, 1946 shilling, 41 sixpence to the right hand side, a 42 and a 43 wheat thrippence. And then the last, and this is probably one of my favourite items, uh, being that it's complete, as I said I had found one before, but broken tips on it. So this one being complete, the old sheriff badge. Now this would have come uh, as a kit. Uh, some kid, you know, the 1950s, 60s toy cap guns were really popular, the, the die cast model toy cap guns. And some kid would have had this. Uh, he would have probably, you know, got it for Christmas uh, with two, two cap guns and the sheriff badge. So really, really cool piece. I love that piece and that, that'll be going in uh, in the new setup uh, at the new house in the, in the display case. So anyway, that about wraps it up. I really, really hope you enjoyed today. Uh, it was a really, really fun dig. Had the boys there, um, had a lot of laughs and enjoyed my time there. So we will be sure to be showing all this to, as I mentioned, the principal. Uh, her name was Jess. So we'll be catching up with Jess, uh, touching base. And look, she'll get to see all this, uh, rubbish included, and all their finds. So, and if that's anything to gauge off uh, what we've got here today and what we can provide and show her and you know look all this will be giving be given to the school i won't be keeping anything here uh, this is not about me this is about uncovering uh, the items and the history there so uh, basically if that's anything for her to judge her opinion of uh, we will be invited back and i'm sure that uh, there is plenty more hours of hunting there and plenty more finds to come out of the ground so anyway hope you liked uh, hit that subscribe button and be sure to follow my finds 
a uh, little bit going on moving house but we will get back out and shoot another video uh, very very soon i got three more permissions as i mentioned in last week's uh the, yesterday's video so basically got three more permissions to go check out uh, and i'm sure they'll be holding the fines also so hit that subscribe button be sure to follow me and i'll see you there